So how do I find this area? Use the formula we learned in the last video. The function on top is x squared, so f of x is x squared. The area is bounded by x. Values 1 and 2, so a is 1 and b is 2. Delta x is equal to b minus a over n. So delta x in this example is 1 over n. The f of x in the formula is f of a plus i times delta x. Then you just simplify it. Then you have to use the formulas with i from pre-calculus. You are left with this. Why are you not simplifying all the way? It's because of the dominant term rule. When finding the limit to infinity of a function, you can simplify based on the coefficient of the bigger term on both the numerator and the denominator. So now after using the dominant term rule, you're left with this. And this is the answer. This entire formula can also be represented as a definite integral. We will talk more about this in our next video.